Hi guys, welcome back to notagamble.com. So today we're going to look at a strategy that's been sent in by one of our viewers, Jennifer called Ronjo. Um, now if you watch our channel on a regular basis, you'll know that we produce, uh, we show you tried and tested strategies. Uh, but we often say to our viewers, if you think you've got a better strategy than we have, then send it in to us and we'll have a look at it. And for those that we like, we'll uh, put it through our simulator of a, of a million spins and we'll do an instructional video on it. So this is precisely what we're doing with this particular system. Uh, now, um, Ronjo didn't actually tell us the name of the system, it's, but so we've titled it the switcheroo. And you'll see in a moment exactly why, why that is. Now, this particular strategy aims to win 10 units uh, and each cycle is betting on either dozens or columns so you go dozens columns dozens columns backwards and forwards aiming to win two units on each one of those cycles uh, now if you do that you will expect to win approximately 96 percent of the time on every cycle okay so uh with a, a target of two two units so what we're going to do is we're going to try and win 10 units in total in this particular session so that will give us five cycles all right um so what we're going to do is we're going to bet on the first and the third uh, second dozens now you'll notice obviously that the first dozen is numbers one to twelve the third dozen is uh, 25 to 36 so low numbers and, and high numbers and then in the middle we've got a mixture of, of high and low so it's not dominant in either so the um, the thinking within this strategy is you always bet on dozen two and then alternate between also betting on dozen one dozen three so you bet the first bet will be on dozens one and two and then on two and three then on one and two then on two and three etc okay now I know many of you out there will be saying well hold on a moment the the chances of each uh, number coming up on any individual spin are exactly the same because you know providing it's an unbiased table and of course that's absolutely true uh, but also we do find that within roulette you often you get patterns of numbers coming up so patterns of clumps of reds clumps of backs high numbers low numbers etc etc and um, so what this strategy does is alternate your bets to basically cover different parts of the table the thinking is then that if there is a uh, clump of numbers come up, then actually you're covering those numbers off by, by simply by virtue of the betting cycle. Um, so, you know, often we'll say on, on strategies, the trend is your friend. And if you see a lot of, uh, you know, high numbers coming up, for example, then follow them. This strategy, you don't need to because you're simply, um, you're, you're, the strategy itself is actually, um, you know, moving around the table for you. So, so it, it's very straightforward. So we're starting on uh, 126.96. Um, so we've got two units bet on the table. So we'll spin on that and we'll see how uh, how we get on. So I'm going to just keep track of where, 13, black odd. where we're win. at on the um, table. Because, uh, you know, if you watch our, watch our videos on a regular basis, you know that I often get our bets wrong. And this one, actually, you do need to remember what happened on the last spin. So we bet on previously on dozens one and two. So now we're going to bet on dozens two and three. Now we won on the previous session, a previous spin. So we don't need to do anything to our bet size. OK, so the way this particular system works is you increase your bet if you win and you are down on the cycle. All right. So on this particular cycle, we were at zero, so we weren't down. So we leave the um, leave the bet exactly as it was. Now, you know, if if you're unsure on the betting, then I say head over to notagamble.com and pick up a play sheet, and that actually describes it all in detail and uh, gives you an example, uh, which will show exactly how the system works. So we're going to bet. Um, we've got a, a two units on on the table again, betting on you on uh, dozens two and three. Seventeen. And um, we've won. Odd. You so win. So we've actually won that cycle. Uh, without so two successive wins we've won two units which is what our, our target was so having done the dozens we're now going to move to the columns so with the columns you will see that the second column is tends to be dominant in black numbers and the third column is dominant in red numbers whilst the first column is a mixture of, of reds and blacks and you'll, if you've seen our bank builder strategy you'll know that actually we take advantage of that on that particular strategy so in this particular one we're going to bet on column one all the time 
and then we're going to alternate between columns two and three. So rather like the dozens, we bet on two um, uh, uh, in one, one spin. So we're betting this time on columns one and two. If we, uh, on the next spin, we'll go to columns one and three, then one and two, one and three, etc. Okay, so uh, we were at 128.96 at the start of this cycle. 33. Black, right, so we've four. lost that one. All right, so we are now minus two. Um, so now we're going to bet columns one and three. Uh, now we didn't win, so we're going to leave our, our bet exactly as, as it was. And we'll spin on this one. And 15, black, odd. You so we win. win. Okay, so we're now minus one on the, on the cycle. Um, now, because we won on that one and we are negative, we'll increase our bet size. So now we'll bet to two units and we'll go back to betting on columns one and two. It's, it's a bit weird on this particular, particular strategy. I've played quite a few sessions with it now and it feels as though you tend to win on the dozens. If you're going to have a losing cycle, it tends to be on the columns. And there's no rationale behind that. That just, that just seems to be the way it is. Um, I also don't like the way that you have to work out when a number comes in, you have to work out what column it is. It's much easier with the dozens to know whether you've won or lost. 20. Black right, so we won. You that. win. So um, basically now we are plus one. Um, because we are positive, uh, we don't need to increase our bet size. And in fact, even in this particular case, I'm going to reduce it back down to one unit because we're only, if you remember, trying to get a two unit profit. So we only need to make one more unit so we can afford to simply bet just the, um, the single units. So if we win, that'll take us to two unit profit in total. So let's see what happens on that one. 17. Okay, so we lost. So that, that actually, um, that strategy just saved us a little bit there. Um, so we're now a, a unit down. Um, had we bet... Uh, continued two units obviously we would have lost more so now we can go down to one and a uh, single unit on columns one and two again and we are a single unit down on this particular cycle 26 black and even we've won. So you we're win back we're up zero after all of that we're back to uh, we're back to zero so We'll go back to columns one and three. Eleven black. And we gold. lose. It's going to be one of those where we're um, where we're up and down all the time. So we're two down, but because we um, didn't win, we'll stick with a single unit. So we're now going one, one and two. And we'll see where Ten that takes black us. Black even. With. You so win. We're now only one down, but because we won and we're only one down. Um, I'm going to increase our, our bet size, so we'll go to 2, and hopefully that takes us, 1 and 3, and it was 2 units. 36. And we've Red. won on that Even. one, so you we're win. plus 1, so rather like we did last time, we'll drop down to a single unit again, because we only need to make one unit profit. Hopefully this one will come in, because I'm getting fed up with the columns. And then we can go back to the dozens. 26. Oh, no. Black, oh, yeah, we got even. it. Even. <laughs> you win. Right. So we won. So we were plus two on there. So that was all one cycle. Okay. Now, it seemed to seem to go on forever, didn't it? But you get a lot of lot of play for your, um, your bankroll on this particular strategy. So um, that's that's something to, to bear in mind. So um, we go back to the dozens and we repeat the whole lot again. So we're at 130.96. So we're trying to get to 132.96, so we'll start on dozens one and two. And see where that gets us to. 29. And we lose. Black, odd. I don't know. Right, okay, so now we go to two and three. Because we're down, we don't increase our bet size. 26. Black, even. Right. So you win. Um, so that was on two and three. So we're now minus one. And because we won, we can increase our bet size. So we go back to one at, whoops, gosh, there we go. 
So we've now got four units at stake on the table. Obviously, we're using one pound a unit here, but you know you might want to use five, ten pounds, twenty dollars, whatever, whatever works for you. Nineteen red odd. You Excellent. win. So we won there. Um, so we are now plus one. And again, like we did on the columns, I'm only trying to get to two unit profit on each cycle. So I'm just going to drop down again to a single unit because we only need that one unit to win. Obviously, if the spin does win, then we've cost ourselves one unit by doing this. But um, if it loses, we've saved ourselves two. 18. Right. So it's cost us in this you particular win. instance, but that's fine. We won our two units. So we then go back to columns now. I'm hoping this one will be slightly um, quicker than than the last time. So we're on columns one and two, and we'll spin. So we're at one thirty two ninety six, and hopefully we can get through the columns. Six black no. even. No, <laughs> it was too much to ask for. Right, so we're two units down, and we'll go to one and three. As I said, it's, it's amazing how many times it's columns to actually seem to cause the problems. Red, there even. we go, we lost again. So we're now minus four, so we go to one and two, but we stick at a single unit because we've lost. We only increase the... 34, red, even, you win. Right, so we had a break in the uh, in the video there so hopefully we'll uh, we'll edit this together i'm not quite sure how that's going to work so apologies if we've uh, if we've missed a spin or anything of that sort so basically we're on the on the cycle of um columns and we won on that one we're three units down on this particular cycle so because we're three units down but we won we can increase our um, bets to two units There we go, and hopefully that will uh, give us some some joy. And we'll see how that gets. On Twenty-eight. No. Nope. Black. Even. So we're now seven down. So we'll we stick at two units because we're down and we lost. So we move on to the next one. Twenty-nine. All right. Black so we won. So that brings win. us down to five. And um, because we won, we can increase our bet size to three. There we go. 22, black, we win. even. Brilliant. Win. So we're now two down on the session. Um, because we win, one rather, we can increase our bet size to four. Now you'll have seen on previous ones that when I get very close to zero, I tend to revert back to um, one unit. But on this particular one, because we're two down, if we win this one spin, we'll then be two up, which will actually uh, win um, for, the, for the cycle. It'll get us to the, the two units. So, two and three. 19. Red and that's, odd. that's you one for win. Us. Excellent. So, that's, we've now won four cycles, which is eight units in total. So, we can revert back to the columns, and we only need one more cycle to win for us to win our 10 units so we'll go back to columns one and two and we're aiming to try to get to 136.96 i don't know why i said the 96 really we're in a better than four four pounds so <laughs> just 136 will, will survive 35 and we've Black won that one board. you win so if this particular spin wins then we're there Hopefully the video will keep going long enough to allow us to do that. Four, black, even. Excellent. You win. So we've done it. So we've now got to 136.96, which is 10 units up from where we started. Um, so you see there that we, we had a, a, a nice mixture of cycles, which we won very easily. So the last one, you know, took two spins. And the second cycle, we seem to be up and down for, for uh, quite a while. But because the betting pattern is, is nice and slow, uh, we can uh, afford to keep going with a relatively low bankroll. So, um, how do we rate this system? Well, John Joe, I think this is um, this is a great system. It's a bit fiddly. Uh, 
you can see that I was having to write down where we're at, trying to remember whether we were on the first and second dozens or whether we were on the third and fourth columns or uh, second and third columns or whatever and what the bet size was. Uh, so it, there's there's plenty going on with it. Um, now, if you're in the live casino, then it, you know it's a little bit. You've got plenty of time between spins. Um, if you're on the live croupier, it can be a bit bit awkward. I love the system. I love the betting pattern, but because it's a bit fiddly, I'm just going to give this a wildebeest uh, rather than a lion. I think were it to be less fiddly, it would have certainly been been a lion. All right. So, but if you think you've got a better strategy than this, than this. Uh, then send it to us at the address on the screen now, which is submissions at noddagamble.com. And don't forget over to head over to noddagamble.com and you can pick up our play sheet for this strategy and all our others. OK, so um, hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Obviously, don't bet more than you can afford to lose. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. It's not a gamble.com. It's not a gamble. It's not a gamble.com. It's not a gamble.